The crochet lesson for today is how to read the label on a ball or a skein of yarn. And the first thing you'll see, because they put it in big type, is the company. This is Bernat, and this is their Yarnspirations Blanket Extra. The next thing on this label will tell you how many yards are in this particular ball of yarn and how much it weighs. For me, the most important thing is the yardage, but sometimes you'll need to know how much it weighs. The pattern will tell you what they require. This particular yarn is made of 100% polyester. It'll say cotton, it'll say a blend, it'll say wool, but this one is 100% polyester. And then we see the size of the yarn. This is a jumbo number seven. The numbering starts at zero for very fine threaded yarn, and then it goes up higher, higher, higher. This is a jumbo seven. The next two talk about, this is for knitting, this is for crochet. So I'll stay over here. We need a 15 millimeter hook to use for this yarn. This is the recommendation from the manufacturer. Something I had never noticed before, it's my, my bad, is that they tell you about a gauge swatch here. What you'll need, four single crochets across and four rows of those four single crochets should get me a swatch four by four inches. And this is only important if the exact size is needed. For example, clothing. If you have a blanket, it really won't matter that much. Then the right side here is all the care instructions for this particular yarn. And the icon on top here is a washing machine. So you can wash this. And see the one dot there? That means you need cool water. You might see two dots, three dots. That would be warmer and warmer and warmer. This triangle is the bleach icon. And there's an X through that. You cannot bleach this particular yarn. Here's the dryer icon, which is good news. We can dry this yarn, but again, we have the one dot, so it'll be on a cool setting. Here's the iron icon, and with the X through it, can't iron this. This circle here is for dry cleaning, and there's an X through it, so you won't want to dry clean this particular yarn. The next important information we get is the color. This says bright pink in three different languages. And then it has the dye lot. This is more important than most people think because dye lot is very important here. You'll be pawing through your bins of all these. You'll think it's all this bright pink. It is all called bright pink, but there could be imperceptible differences in dye lots. So if you're going to be making a big blanket, you don't want five skeins of yarn, one color, and one just a tiny, tiny bit off. It'll look terrible. And this yarn, as many yarns do, offers you a free pattern on the back of the label. In this case, it's for this afghan, which is pretty nice looking afghan, I think. I might want to try this. And since you can't see the pattern or the back of this unless you buy the yarn, they tell you right here, you'll need a 15 millimeter crochet hook, and you'll need seven balls of yarn to make this afghan. And that's how we're going to be reading this label. Now you know everything you need to know to be able to pick the proper yarn for what you want to make.